watching Notes and Nine. Hello, and welcome to Notes and Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 93, Introduction to Dots. Unlock the power of your server. Okay, uh, I've got a new contributor today that I'm really excited about, and his name is, and I'm going to give this a shot, Sudar Beshamez. I think that's right, though I'm probably wrong. Um, but he's a he's a great guy. He's an IBM champion. He's an Open NTF uh, contributor. He's an X Pages expert uh, in, in all areas, uh, development and server. Uh, I once had a problem with with uh, my cheat sheet dot uh, com website because I had a demo uh, that did a, an Excel download, and it would crash every every the server would crash and run out of memory uh, every couple days and this went on for months and months and months it was really kind of a pain in the butt actually and then finally I was whining to Sadar and and he said he'd take a look at it and well within five minutes he told me what was happening I, I wasn't recycling and he told me where I wasn't doing it uh, so how he did that I'm really not sure but he did and and just wow uh, so he, he knows what he's talking about he's he's out of Turkey he runs his own business he's on Twitter here uh, he's been writing for the view at eview.com uh, and he's got a website at lotusnotus.com slash en if you want the the English version uh, because he's uh, from Turkey and if you want to know anything about the the Turkey language or the keyboard equivalents or dotted eyes or slashed eyes or eyes without a dot, the dotless eye and, and the problems that, that that you might have with translating an app to that language, he will know the answer for you because uh, he, he lives that and, and he's truly an expert in, in, in all those areas. So he's going to come on to talk about dots today. And and I've seen him and some of the, the other guys talk about dots for a long time and I, I got to be honest. I don't know what it was. Um, when, when I hear dots, I, I just think about going to the movies and, and having one of my favorite candies uh, in front of me. But apparently, there's something more to dots than uh, the the delicious, juicy kind of candy that sticks to the roof of your mouth, and no one knows why it sticks to the roof of your mouth. But he's going to talk about dots. And, and dots is a, is a way for you to create your own server tasks. And what's really kind of cool about them, other than abilities you're creating your own server tasks, is they're very fast. You know, they're faster than the, an equivalent Java agent to do the same thing. Um, and you can do other things. You can like run them on schedule. You can run them on startup. I, I believe you can run them on event. I'm not sure if that's going to change, um, like on document deletion or or document creation. I, I think there's some trigger capability though that that might actually be changing from from what I understand. But but I don't know. Um, so. But, but that's cool. Um, I, I believe you can run them from like a program files document. You know, you can send them off to, to be scheduled that way. Or you can schedule them, you know, inside the, the application itself for the most part. Um, so it's, it's really cool capability. You're going to need to know Java for this. So it is a little more advanced. Uh, but there's a, there was a great session at Lotusphere, a, a show and tell. And the show and tells are, are rather detailed. They have every slide up there for to do the exact same procedure. Um so he's going to walk through an introduction of what dots is and 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 kind of what you can do with it and he's going to talk about the, the show and tell session from Lotusphere and then he's going to give you a little demo on on how to create this server task and then finally how to see it run by running it on your server so with that being said uh, let's go to the demo welcome to for my first Dawson night show this is Sardar Vashemas uh, sorry for my, my name, I know how hard for you to pronounce if you are especially not from Eastern Europe. And yes, this is me. I'm working on Lotus software since 1999 and for more than 9 years I'm running my own company developing information systems in Istanbul, Turkey. Here are other de details of my social life and Remember, you can get in touch with me anytime over Twitter or email or Skype. And sorry about my voice, you know, flu sucks. And we will be looking for dots today. First, we will have a brief in, uh, introduction on what dots is and why it is good for. Then I'll demonstrate a couple of things about DOTS development, such as installation, installing a development environment, and finally I'll show a simple Hello World tasklet. So what is DOTS? 
Domino OSGI Tasklet Service. Uh, the name is actually self-explanatory, right? It's for Domino and it's running on OSGI level and it provides a service architecture for your tasklets. Dots provide ability to write your own server task tasks. Uh, your tasks can run on server start, on schedule, on demand or by trigger or hooks. Dots has been contributed as an open NTF project by IBM last year. Uh, it has replaced Java Edin project and it has several important features like declarative scheduling, tooling with Eclipse and in fact Dots can be considered as the next generation server side agents. It fills the background processing gap in our X page based development paradigm. So far I was, I was personally using traditional agents for my background processing, processing needs and honestly I was mostly using Lotus Script because of the fact that our agents are very slow. And why dots? Recently I have blogged about an experiment where I have set up a simple competition between dots task and the Java agent and clinical re results showed that dots is freaking fast. As you see the same job completed in around 140 seconds by Java agent and around 46 uh, by dots task. And how do you start? First we have to prepare our DOTS development and runtime environment. The download DOTS release from OpenNTF. And there was also a great session last year in Lotus Fair. Show 212 session was about OSGI development in general, but since we will be using Eclipse development environment for DOTS development, we will need these slides. If you don't have it, just Google or search our greenhouse. And we also need Eclipse for development, of course. Latest version of Eclipse would be fine, but I was too lazy to upgrade mine. That's why I'm using Indigo with some service release 1 or 2. Remember, if you want to work on Java, Eclipse provides much better experience compared to Domino Designer. So consider your environment for a long term. Uh, some of Eclipse design, uh, setup steps are also valid for working on servlets or developing XSpace extensions. And you'll also need Domino Debug plugin from OpenNTF. It provides necessary configurations within Eclipse and don't be afraid of it. It's so simple and one-time thing before starting. And unfortunately, uh, you need a local Domino server on the same machine to debug your DOS, DOTS tasks. My advice is using the latest Domino with latest fix pack, but be careful about uh, 32 or 64 bit differences. My own computer is uh, normally 64 bit Windows 7 and uh, I was using 64 bit Domino server and I had some issues with uh, 32 bit Eclipse. Try to use 32 bit for everything for safe. And show uh, 212 OSGI development slides helps enormously here. Some of Eclipse plugins are needed for DOTS. I don't know why, but they are not included within OpenNTF package. Maybe it's licensing. Who knows? Uh, we will copy them from Eclipse installation. And when you install Eclipse, uh, there's a folder name Eclipse plug uh, plugins, and there are some. Uh, plugins here you'll need, for example, core mm, runtime or core content type. Like there are, sorry, ten plugins here, and you have to copy them 
into uh, a folder you will create inside Domino Programs folder and I have created mine OSGI dots RCP Eclipse plugins these are 10 plugins and shared Eclipse plugins here another jar file you need and two jar files here you need to create these directories when you download dots you'll see there is a build folder you'll see jar files here and depending on your environment you'll see dll files and exe file you have to copy them into domino program folder and it's all being explained here in these slides and then Eclipse client should be configured uh, like here go to preferences you have to create your framework etc actually there are one HTTP setup and one dot setup the steps are pretty uh, similar the only difference between dots and HTTP are uh, is the target platform uh, but I recommend you to install both uh, it doesn't harm anyway and here more steps for dots now we have completed our dots environment and Eclipse is ready to uh, do up our first dots project let's create it and it's demo time now we will demonstrate a hello world application uh, using dots as we said before we are working on Eclipse development environment to create dots tasks uh, and if everything is solved correctly we will be able to set up our first dots project as I will show to you first let's create an Eclipse project here and right click new plugin project and we name our project as hello world uh, but it's recommended to use project name like package names com.dlp that not in nine that hello world right keeping the default settings and my project name can be changed here but I don't need to but I have to correct this dot I problem thanks a Turkish language and finish and it opened the manifest view uh, and I need to tell Eclipse that this is going to use dots as the extension points I'm clicking extensions here and it's uh, I'm clicking yes and add here I have to choose the uh, extension I am writing com that IBM that dots that task clearing this checkbox to see all relevant extensions and select the extension clicking finish asking to edit and I say why not and that's it it will give some errors here and uh, I will fix it through the setting the singleton directive and saved my project is now ready as I can see from plugin dependencies and did you remember these plugin plugins but one last thing to do I have to import Lotus Domino classes through here so because you know Eclipse uh, doesn't know anything about Domino API I, had, I have to show something 
if I don't do that, it will give compilers for every nodes class I use. And it's done. I can see here com IBM nodes Java API. And now I can create my first testnet. So I'm going to source folder, right click, new, Java class, because uh, Tasknet is a Java class, you know. While it's not necessary, I like keeping my Java classes very organized. And I will set a package, it's here. Set a name, let's say task01. And this is important, I have to choose a super class. Right, I have to extend my uh, extend the dots class, which has a name like abstract server tasks extended. Okay. Now I press finish, and uh, I can see it created automatically. Uh, two methods. These are coming from the abstract class and uh, we have just extended. Dispose here uh, runs when JVM deletes my tasklet and do run method uh, which will run when my tasklet runs. Pretty straightforward. And I'd like to know when my class is disposed and here I will lock within disposed method I can say this out control space and they killed Kenny yes in fact I don't re recommend to use system out for logging here I will explain why in a moment so in the run method I will use another uh, method named as log message and hello world right so I saved and finally I have to tell dot task manager to run my task to do that I am opening plugin XML here and going to the source task Yes, I can see here it has created an entry, but I need to change the class name. So I'm clicking this bulb to browse for a different task, uh, different type, and task 01. Okay, and I have corrected the problem here. I will set a simple name task one so it's short ID you don't have to use a short ID you can use more descriptive IDs here but we are in demo environment okay and that's ready uh, now Eclipse has built all classes and my hello world project is ready to run but uh, Domino server doesn't know about my Eclipse project, right? So I have to direct dots to my Eclipse project folder to get plugins under development. To do that, I have to create a run or debug configuration for the first time. Uh, I'm going to run run configurations and right click OSGI framework and new, giving a name, lots dots. OSGI config. Uh, this is important. Select the framework dots. I don't want it to be auto started because I'm using Domino server. I'm deselecting all. I only need my own uh, plugin. Plugin. Okay. Apply and run. So for the first time it asks me the, <coughs> the, the profile name which is dots clear D and okay. Now it's created 
uh, a inline file in the dots workspace in, in my server so now domino server knows about my eclipse project okay now i'm going to domino server and load dots yes i see that it it gets the ini file just created and dots <coughs> is ready so first tell dots task list so i can see that my task 1 i didn't give any i didn't give any description so it's now and i don't uh, set run on start so it's false it's not scheduled it's a manual task i can see the task in my task list so tell dots run <coughs> my short name task one and it worked oops you see it seems like the task disposed first and uh, then run which is not possible possible this is why I don't like use, using system out in dots because first it doesn't send the output to the notes log it's important and second it prints messages in a wrong order the log message has been utilized to communicate with the console actually so I'm going back to Eclipse client and fixing here log message this is a small tip for you and uh, I had changed my design I had to restart dot task uh, to refresh my changes on Domino so uh, this is a bit difficult I know and I hope there will be an easier way in the future and I will end my demo, demo uh, with this final thing I will run my task scheduled to do this I open plugin XML again and inside my task tag I'm adding this tag run every equals 5 and unit equals second this is easy right this tells dot task manager that my task should be run running uh, every five seconds closing it I saved I'm sure and restart task dots yes it started running every five seconds so here did you notice something that it never disposed that's an important thing my Java class residence in memory for entire time until I stopped dots tell dots quit and they killed Kenny note this behavior for the future you can use caching initializing configurations etc for once and so your tasks will perform perform much better if you use scheduled tasks what if you want to debug slides I have shown you before let me open that this is explaining additional things here the part we have explained uh, there are additional steps here create a remote Java application and uh, put some port information here and put some notes I uh, settings and that's it after sh these additional steps uh, your environment will be ready for debugging and that's all for now. Thank you for watching my first Nostin Night Show. 
and that's the demo. Uh, I'm really thankful for Sadar to take the time to, to do this for, for Notes of 9 and for the Drive to 99. And if you have any questions uh, for me on the Dots Candy, uh, there's my contact information. And if it's on the Dots uh, Tasklet server business, then uh, you have Sadar's contact information. And I thank you for your time.